All right, guys, let's talk a little bit about uh, VLC Media Player. Today, I got a question from a friend asking if VLC Media Player is accessible. And I want to share a couple things that you can actually do to make it work. Right now, what I do have is I have a CD, a DVD inserted in my Drive D. Okay. And um, I'm going to show you how to make VLC Media Player work even though it may not be accessible. And the DVD that I have in my media player drive here is, um, I believe, is it's a Disney movie. So I'm going to show you how to open up the DVD and navigate through the chapters and all that, okay? So let me turn off, let me turn on speech here with JAWS so I can show you. And I'm going to bring up the start menu so I can show you VLC media player. Control, VLC media player app. Enter. No okay. results. VLC media player. Okay, so it appears that the interface is not accessible, but check it out. VLC media player. There's app. there's not much you could do here, right? But if you press Control D, Control D, this tab. You're gonna get a, a dialog box here that contains a couple of options. What what you want to do is you want to tab. Show more options. Checkbox not checked. Tab. Play button menu. Tab. Disk selection DVD radio button checked. Notice it says disk selection DVD, right? Radio check. That's what you want. Make sure the DVD is inserted. Tab. Disk selection. No disk menu. Checkbox not checked. Tab, disk selection, disk device, edit combo, equal back slash one zero and one. Notice that you can select the disk drive there. I have the D drive selected, so I'm just going to press enter on there because I'm just that kind of guy, right? Enter. And now the DVD will start playing. VLC media player. Okay. Equal back slash one zero and one. Tab, disk selection, disk selection button. Oh. Let me. Tab, selection, browse, dot, 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 button. Tab, starting position, title, edit, spin box. Z tab, starting position, tab, audio and subtitle, tab, audio and subtitle, tab, cancel button. Tab, disk tab. Tab, show more options, checkbox not checked. Tab, play button menu. Tab, disk selection, DVD radio button checked. Okay, I'm going to press enter here on where it says disk selection because I already have the DVD selected. Enter, DVD colon slash 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 D colon. And now my DVD is spinning up. It might start soon, but I'm going to hit space if it starts up because space now you can pause when it starts playing. Space. There you go. Now let's go in, let's get into some meat here. Now with the space bar, you can play and pause. Space. Notice? Space. Space bar. Okay. What you want to do here is you want to press Alt L if you want to start navigating by chapter or by Alt L menu, playback menu, title I. Title. And let's see, we're in chapter. Chapter C. Let's go to chapter here. Enter, resume checked. Root. Title. Chapter. Subtitle. Audio. Angle. Resume checked. Root. Resume checked. Enter. Leaving menus. All right. So Let's check out the titles here. Alt L. Alt L menu. Playback menu. Title I. Let's go to titles. Enter CBD menu. Title one left bracket one twenty seven forty seven right bracket. Title two left bracket zero o'clock right bracket checked. And that's the title that's playing right now. Title three left bracket zero thirty three right bracket. Let's go to title three. Press enter here. Enter. Leaving menus. Okay. We should have some playing here coming up soon. If not, we'll just keep trying. Okay. I think the. The software takes some time to read all the titles and everything because last time I was playing it, it worked pretty well. So uh, let's check it out. Space. Let's see if we can hit space here and play it. I hear my DVD spinning. There. So how easy is that? And let me press Alt L here. Alt L menu, playback menu, title I. Enter DVD title. Menu. Title one, title two, left, title three, left bracket, title four, left bracket, zero, oh, six, title five, left bracket, zero, ten, right bracket. Let's go to title five. Enter. Leaving menus. And my DVD is changing and spinning. There. Space. And I'm going to hit space. If you guys notice, we are in one of the titles within the DVD, and we can browse it with Alt L. Alt L menu, playback menu, chapter C. Let's go to chapter here for a second. Enter. Chapter one checked. Now we've got chapters. Chapter one. Chapter two. Chapter two. Let's hit chapter two. Enter. Leaving menus. And we're going to hit spacebar. Actually, let's go to the titles here. I'm going to hit Alt L. Alt L menu, playback menu, title I. Enter, DVD menu. Title 1, left bracket, 12747, right bracket. Let's go to title 1. Enter, leaving menus. Okay, my DVD spinning. We should hear something coming up very soon. And if we don't hear it, you know what? We can always hit space. Space. The point here is that this works. This There. Okay, let's change titles here. Alt L menu, playback menu, title I. Enter, DVD menu. Title 1, title 2, title 3, left bracket, 0, 33, right bracket. Enter, leaving menus. Title 3. Space. 
So is VLC Media Player accessible? Yes. Here's the deal. Control D so you can pick the drive and then press Alt L so you can choose by title or chapter. I'm going to show you another trick here. If I press the Alt key here Menu, media, M. and then I hit the red arrow, playback, L. there's playback, right? I'm going to hit the up arrow. Playback, menu, record. Next, X. Notice. Previous D. Stop S. Play D. You can hit play here. Enter. Leave menus. See that? And then you can hit space to pause. Space. So can you access a DVD player? A DVD with a VLC media player? Absolutely yes. And if you search through the menus, you'll find a way to do it. So if you have any questions, please feel free to post them down below. If, uh, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and also send me an email if you'd like to blindtechchannel at gmail.com. That's blindtechchannel at gmail.com. Thank you very much.